Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are working on another linked list problem and to be more specific it's the question number 83 on late code. Let's move to the board guy directly guys. So here we are the question is question number 83 remove duplicates from sorted linked list. So that's super important hint. Let me grab the pen. That's a super important hint. So the question states Given the head of a sorted linked list, so that bit, delete all duplicates such, as, such that, that each element appears only once. And we need to return the linked list sorted, guys. Sweet. I think it's going to be way more easier to understand it now that we are moving to the test case over here. So, as you can see, the input is going to be a sorted linked list uh, that might have duplicates. And our, that's the input, and our task is to return a sorted linked list without any duplicates. And that's the output. And as you can see, here we've got one occurring twice and three occurring twice as well. However, we have discarded uh, the duplicates from here and here on the output. Sweet. So now you are thinking how we're going to do that. It's super straightforward, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use just one pointer and call it, let's say, current pointer. And after that, I'm going to loop over and, and I'm going to initialize it, of course, with the head of the linked list and I'm going to loop over that list. Sweet. Okay, so every time that we will need a condition to check whether there is a duplicate or there is no duplicate there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the value of the current pointer with the value of the next node in the linked list. And how are we going to illustrate that? We can, we can just say current dot next. And that's the next node, of course. And if we need to access the value of the next node, we just use the dot and value. That's an L, not a D. Sorry about that. All right. And our uh, and the, the easiest way to go is just to eliminate the second uh, node that we've got a duplicate there. And how are we going to do that? We cannot actually delete the node from the linked list. So what we can do is to, let me grab another color, yep. What we can do is to discard that connection and create this one. So on this way, we have eliminated that node from the linked list. And for the second iteration, where we are not going to move the current from that position, and then we are going to compare the value of the current pointer versus the value of the current dot next pointer, which is going to be that one. And of course, these are not equal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the current pointer one position to the right. And because we have eliminated that node, the current pointer is now going to point here. And after that, it's the same idea. We compare the value of the current pointer versus the value of the current dot next. They are not equal, so I'm moving, I'm gonna move the current pointer over here. And at the end, I'm going to again compare the value of the current pointer with the value of the current dot next pointer. And because they are equal, I'm going to eliminate that node. Sweet. And of course, here it's going to be a bit of a weird case uh, because it's the last one. However, I'm going to show you how we are going to achieve that algorithmically. The whole idea is that the loop needs to uh, actually go until both the current and the current dot next pointers are not null. Sweet. Let's move to the code, guys. So, as I said, we just need 
to create one pointer and that's gonna be let's say the current pointer and I'm going to set it up to initialize it to null all right and here I'm going to iterate through the entire linked list until we the current pointer reaches the null or and actually the current dot next is different than null so we have always to avoid hitting the null node which is the node after the end of course and now we are going to create our condition and the condition is going to be that uh, the current dot next dot val is triple equal to current dot val and if that happens then if you remember we need to break for example here this connection and we need to create that connection so algorithmically well, what we are going to say is current.next is going to be equal to the current.next.next otherwise the current is going to be current.next and this is a situation where we just move the pointer one position to the right sweet and at the end of the while loop what we need to do is just return the head of that link list and let's give that a go all right so we are not discarding that and that's happening yes of course that was a rookie mistake, sorry about that guys. Uh, what I did here, if you saw, was I initialize the current pointer to the null. However, the current pointer, as I said here, needs to be initialized with the head of the link list. And if I run it now, fingers crossed. Sweet, it's running. So let's submit this code. Sweet. All right. That's all for today, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.